The ISS leak problem is still continuing. Russia is poised to send a rescue ship to the ISS after cosmonauts are stranded with the capsule leaking. Engineers are currently evaluating whether the MS-22 capsule is safe to bring its crew back to Earth or whether it will need to be sent back empty and a, repl a replacement launched. Russia is asserting the flight worthiness of the Soyuz crew capsule docked with the International Space Station, the ISS, that sprang a coolant leak Wednesday last week. The leak, which was spotted by ground staff on external video footage from the station, caused the temperature in the crew section of the capsule to rise to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 30 degrees Celsius, and the equipment section as uh, high as 104 degrees Cel uh, Fahrenheit, that's 40 degrees Celsius. In a press conference yesterday, officials said that it may become necessary to send up a rescue vessel to bring back essentially stranded crew members. There are presently seven astronauts aboard the ISS. If the leaky MS-22 capsule is deemed unfit for a crewed flight, it would mean that the orbital laboratory only has one viable lifeboat capable of carrying four people in the event of an emergency, emergency evacuation being needed. Sergei Krikalev, the Russian State Space Corporation Roscosmos Executive Director for Human Space Programs, said that the damage to the capsule is being assessed. A thermal analysis of the cabin temperature will determine if MS-22 is safe to carry astronauts back down to the Earth's surface, if it proves to be unfit for purpose, Roscosmos will likely advance the launch of another Soyuz capsule from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in southern Kazakhstan, but send it up uncrewed to pick up the astronauts that were supported that were supposed to return with MS-22. NASA's ISS program manager Joel Montalbano said they're looking at late February to send up the next Soyuz vessel, the vehicle. MS-22 ferried both uh, Russian cosmonauts Dmitry Petelin and Sergei Prokopiev, as well as the NASA astronaut Frank Rubia, up to the ISS back in September. They were joined by John, Josh Casada and Nicole Mann of the U.S., Japan's Koichi Wakata and Anne Kikina of Russia, who arrived on SpaceX Crew Dragon in October. A spacewalk scheduled for Wednesday last week to upgrade the ISS solar arrays was postponed until yesterday in light of the capsule's leak. If it turns out that MS-22 cannot take its crew back to Earth safely, then the capsule will be sent on its return journey on its own. The hole in the MS-22 capsule that caused the coolant to escape has been estimated to be just 0.03 inches across, too small to have been tracked from the ground. Last week, Mr. Kirkalev said that the leak may have been caused by a meteorite striking one of the external radiators of the Soyuz capsule. NASA emphasized last week that none of the crew members aboard the space station was in danger and all conducted normal operations throughout the day. The detection of the leak in MS-22 capsule happened to collide to coincide with the peak of the Gemini meteor shower last week although experts have ruled this to be a coincidence as the hull was penetrated from the wrong direction from the Geminids. Mr. Montalbano said, we did look at the meteor showers that were occurring. Both the trajectory team in Houston and the trajectory team in Moscow confirmed it was not from the meteor showers. We got some work to do with image imagery to better understand if it was a meteoroid hit or if there was a hardware issue and that work is in front of us. Another possibility is that the hole was punched in MS-22 capsule by a small but fast moving piece of space junk in low Earth orbit. Elsewhere in space news, earlier this week, Russia and China signed a formal agreement to jointly explore the moon and construct scientific base on the lunar surface by 2035. We know that's supposed to be in the southern pole of the moon. And also from one of the past uh, videos I uploaded concerning this leak, this leak can corrode the metal of the ISS. So it's got to be stopped. So they can't keep that thing up there. 
um, I guess the best thing is to set it back down empty, bring a new one up there as fast as possible to bring the, the astronauts down. And this is by Express UK by Ian Randall. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.